I went too soon, but whatever. There's a donut splat there. <laughs> okay. Can you guys talk and can they hear us? Hello? Hi. Hi. Mom? Let's see if they can hear us. Mom, is that you? Hello? Give the chat a second. Yeah, we'll give them a second. Oh, yay, they can yes, hear you. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. Yay! 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 Yeah! We did it! First success oh, yeah. group! Yes, thank you. <laughs> we did it. Hooray! Yes. Experience points, please. <laughs> I'm so well, sorry, guys. Well, we finished our quest. Welcome yeah, to the done. Minds of The Fable. game is over. Yeah. Everyone is <laughs> it was just like, it was so like, something weird was happening in OBS where it didn't give the other audio output so that you couldn't hear anyone except for, except for me. So, anyway, let's start this over. So, uh... <laughs> Welcome again to me DMing. Thank you for staying. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. It's just, you know, it's typical. We're just the worst. Um, so <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go through everyone and have everyone explain who they are and their character and uh, what their character's uh, name is and race and class and all of that and who they are in real life and also their character's favorite food and what they are doing right now. So we're going to start with Chad. Yes, I get another shot to do this. Awesome. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Chad. I write for cartoons like Troll Hunters and Unikitty, and I'm be playing uh, a Warforged rogue named Reader. He has no last name. He's just Reader. Uh, and uh, he's, a, he's a nice boy. He does not eat anything in terms of his favorite foods. We we're going to list that as well, right? Um, he doesn't need sustenance. So I guess he'll probably just, like, mash the apples around in his mouth if you feed him and then spit it back out. Um... And uh, what he's doing right now, right, that was the last question, is uh, he is going and knocking on every single door in his town asking for clues to the, uh, the murder of his creator. But he has no leads, so he's literally just knocking on every door and asking everyone he can. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, next up, we will have... Oh, yes, Nejma, our next character. That's me. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Hadil. I'll be playing a Sun Elf uh, wizard named Nejma. I work in tech, and I used to work in Nintendo, and I work for Geek Girl Con here in Seattle. Um, in the game, Nejma's favorite food is everything, but probably like those little Brazilian breads that have the cheese in the middle. Those are Those are so good. There, I could eat like 500 of those <laughs> and feel no guilt. Pain, sure, no guilt. Um, and her quest is to be the best wizard ever. Uh, she is not super great right now. She's kind of a disaster caster. Excellent, excellent. Um, all right, let's go up to Jimmy up at the top. Okay, lap. okay. Hi, <laughs> my name is Jimmy Wetzel. Um, I am a YouTuber on a, on a mental health gear. I'll be back. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, and, uh, I just, I'd like to do stuff on the internet. Follow my Twitter, and it's, it's all the same stuff, it's just my name. And, uh, I play Saturn. He's a human bard. Um, and what else? I, what else do I What's say? What's your favorite food? And also, you guys okay. need to tell me what you're doing right now. Yeah, I okay. nailed it. So he's he's a human bard. His favorite food is bread. Because who doesn't like bread? It's so versatile. It's so versatile. And uh, at the moment, he is... <laughs> at the moment, he's just chilling. Just chilling in his home. Polishing, <laughs> polishing his very his very fancy triangle. Um, that is called... <laughs> his triangle. His lovely, his handy-dandy triangle. Let me just give you a little... Dame <laughs> oh my god, you have um, the first one. And... First of many. Yes. I didn't know first you actually had days. one, Jimmy. I just bought it, Amazon Prime. <laughs> Thank why you is very it much. Amazon Prime? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Judy shipping, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah for that um so uh he he's polishing his triangle. He can play the lute. That's what he usually plays as as a musician. Um, but he wants to like he wants it to be the next big thing. He's gonna try as much as he can to make <laughs> the triangle stick with the populace, and uh, yes. that's what he's doing at the moment. You're the ska of music of me. I am. Of <laughs> You're trying to get it to go. Good, good. good. All right. Uh, next up is uh, 
Wilhelmine, which I did not write your whole name in the screen because it was real long. <laughs> it's okay, because not a whole lot of people call her by her full name anyway. She's kind of a, a woman of many names. She's a human rogue thief, and uh, she is the first D&D character I've ever made that actually looks something like me. She's got dark red hair, but she's got freckles, unlike me, and she kind of looks a little bit exotic, but she, uh, she is... Well, she would call herself a master of disguise, and she kind of makes her way by just knowing the right people, saying the right thing at the right time, and sometimes using how she looks to get by. So she uh, she probably stole your pocket watch like five minutes ago, and you just <laughs> noticed when you went to check the time. So right oh, now shit. she's actually she's at a swanky soiree cozying up to a duke and getting him to buy her some, uh, well, she really likes bonbons, so that's what she's eating. That's her favorite food. Ex excellent. Um, I like that. Excellent. So, um, all of you. She likes whatever you like. Is really <laughs> oh, what <it> is. No. <laughs> <laughs> so all of you, all of you are on your your respective planes at the moment, um, and I've sent you all a message uh, with some text. And the first one to see this appear in front of them, what happens is is so Saturn while you're while you're sitting there polishing your triangle, you know, the mm -hmm. the sun mm -hmm. streaming yes. in from the yes. afternoon. <laughs> you're just thinking about all the stuff you stole or whatever. Yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You notice that a like a, a dark gray feather appears next to you. And oh, uh, and on tied on tied onto it is a little scroll. And each mm -hmm. of you, wherever you are, each of you notice that this happens. This it, you don't see it before. It's almost like it just kind of it was always there, but you just didn't see it until now. Um, so each of you are going to un unfrill these, unfold these tiny little scrolls, and uh, we're going to read them one at a time, and I will tell you in what order. Okay. Um, so Saturn, you're going yes. to read yours first. Okay. I, I read the message? Yeah. Okay. I have passed from the outermost portal to shine... To, to the shrine where a sin is a prayer. And I got chills. Next up, uh, Wilhelmine, yours appears in front of you. The Duke's like, oh, the dirty birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, so dirty. Uh, and it says, What care though the service be mortal? Oh, our lady of torture, what care? And next up, uh, reader, you're just looking sad. I don't know what you're doing. Probably <laughs> just looking yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no one's answering the doors for me. I think at this point. So I'm. I look down and find this on the ground. I assume. Yeah. Uh, I pick it up and read aloud. Oh, mystical rose of the mire. Oh, house not of gold but of gain. And then, uh, Nejma, like you've just set something on fire, and you're looking for an excuse to <laughs> to, to look at something else. So you pick up yours and go ahead and read it. Nobody saw me set that fire, so <laughs> that, that could have been anybody. But it says, Oh, house of unquenchable fire, our lady of pain. So as soon as Nejma finishes her phrase, all of you feel this pull kind of in the back of your head. Like suddenly, like something, think of like flu powder in Harry Potter. You feel this like, this yank, like almost like you're being, like a string is being pulled from your face and out. And suddenly you are in complete and utter darkness. Now, the first to see darkness is Saturn, in the order oh, that you boy. read these these phrases. So, you, Saturn, you're com you're suddenly engulfed in complete darkness, and you can feel it like almost like stone walls around you, but you really can't see much else. Uh huh. You're just you're just That's trapped. That's terrifying. That's scary. Yeah, you still <laughs> you still have your triangle. Yes, <laughs> I do. I would never leave this existence without it yeah so as as and as and suddenly you're just you're kind of like feeling these stone walls and then you suddenly mm -hmm. feel another person next to you like just like the softness of another person like really close mm -hmm. yeah that's a soft person right there <laughs> and that is you wilhelmine will you are now in total darkness next to next to saturn in this how does thing. saturn how does saturn feel is Saturn I, a soft person? I mean, you're you're both soft. You can tell, like you have flesh. You're both soft. I love bread. I'm a little soft. <laughs> a soft boy. It's fine. Hmm? Uh, I grab onto Saturn, and go. Whoa! Where am I? 
I can't see. I don't know where we are. It's dark in here. I try uh, to pick his pocket. Oh my god! Don't, don't pick my pocket. Can, I feel that. It's really dark. Oh, sorry. My my hand just you slipped. Can, I was going to say don't you can that. roll with disadvantage because you can't see, so you don't know what you're grabbing at. But... Good. Okay. Good. This is a good start. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I rolled a two, so I definitely <laughs> failed. You don't know what you grab, but you think it's a metal triangle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no. as you try to do that, you suddenly hear this like clang, and this. <laughs> Not soft creature appears in this very <laughs> cramped closet with you, <laughs> and that is your reader. You are now. I blew those me. Engulfed in darkness. I I think I immediately just go. Oh no! I've been struck and blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Nejma, you you feel that that pull in the back of your head, and you're in this. You kind of land on top of everyone, so you're kind of like curled up. Like on top of where their heads are, like, like sort of like sliding down to the bottom. Um, so that was not the spell I meant to cast. There was a <laughs> bit of a smudge. I got a little piece of fingers. I had to stop and get some French fries. But I'm not held responsible for anything that happened here. Okay. Also, um, I think I have dark vision. You do Am have dark see? vision. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see. So out of everyone, everyone is blind, but you can see this this roguishly attractive human female and roguishly attractive human bard with red eyes and this robot man. <laughs> Who is rogue? Who is rogue? Who is for also sure. roguishly attractive. In fact, you don't know how you, all of these roguishly attractive people got into this cramped space. With Let's you. just take our clothes off and cut to the chase. Let's just get to it. Um, but I would like you all to give me a perception check, if you could. Okay. So that is a d20 roll, and then um, okay. you are going to add your... Cause it's, it's wisdom, right? Yeah, wisdom. Oh, oh, no. That is an 11 from me. You would think that my rogue would be more perceptive than my freaking paladin, but I still just got an 8. <laughs> so mine was a one with nothing extra. I have zero. Oh my God. You're too busy thinking about that fire. You're like, it wasn't me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I, like, I hope a... somebody finds that, you know, just in case. I rolled a 12. Now, what what do I add to that? I'm sorry. This is my no. first time playing D&D. &D so you're wisdom. Welcome to D&D. &D. Yes. And then we can, again, like... I have DM'd a few times, but I am in no sense a veteran DM. I mostly just read the books alone when I was a kid. So, <laughs> so we are all, way, all up for uh, suggestions, my friends. So don't don't even stress. Um, it is wisdom, so that would be on your I, feed. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got a tw I rolled a twelve, and then I add a one, so it's thirteen. Okay. All okay. right. So Saturn and Reader, you hear almost like the clanking of like china outside, like like mm -hmm. like. Like you hear like like steam like almost like like you're almost in like a restaurant. Huh. Oh, okay. And uh and if you you notice that you can see like a sliver of light, like there might be a door that you could possibly that you could possibly open. Okay. Yeah, I think I think readers walking straight forward to push it open, assuming someone needs help. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Um yeah, so you can reach around and there is a there is a handle, so you can just go ahead and open that door. Okay, yeah, I, I I open it pretty pretty plainly, I gotta okay. say. <laughs> you brazenly throw open this door. And uh it's a wooden door, but everything else kinda around you is more stone. And when you open it up, you're kind of you're greeted by this really bizarre like open room. There's a gilded like curtain next to you. And light streams in, you can all see now. You can all see that you're with these weirdos. You don't know how you got here and you're in big trouble. Okay. <laughs> so and light streams in and you can see this curtain on one side and shelves upon shelves of tea like glass containers with tea and teacups and tea kettles and weird barrels with like leaves coming out of them and all kinds of strange smells and it smells like old books and leaves and tea and it's just it's kind of like a yellowy green light it's something you haven't seen before <laughs> and uh you have no idea at currently where you are but there's no one in sight you are alone oh it's completely empty it is empty yeah you can see all of these things and you can hear behind the curtain you can hear sort of the clatter and shattering of what sounds like what it could be a restaurant Okay. Interesting. Uh, are you guys still hanging out in the dark closet? Yeah, no, I'm we... holding back to see what everyone else is going to do before I take yeah. any action. 
but it's not dark anymore. We can still see. No, you right? can see now, and it's and you can okay. see there's windows on some of the side, and and the light coming in is like a yellowy orange. Like it looks like it looks dirty. Okay. Uh, I mean, I I noticed that it seems like there's dirty dishes everywhere, right? No, it's actually pretty clean. It's just sort of like you would just say that it's. It's not hoarder status, but it's clutter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm absentmindedly just stacking them in perfect order as much as I can. <laughs> just, even if they're not dirty, just like putting them in size biggest to smallest as we go through it. Re- Reader goes into a, into a fugue as he cleans. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes glaze over even more than you normally would see at Warforge. And I'm just, I, I just see a task that needs to be done. <laughs> All right. Well, as you, as you, are you trying to be quiet about this or are you just, you just, I, I think I'm doing a good deed. So why would I need to hide it? Okay. All right. So as you like clang around in your giant, like stone or like your giant metal I have, feet. De- yeah. I have <laughs> delicate robot feet. Okay. Yeah. It's still pretty loud on a stone yeah. floor. Um, <laughs> you notice that, uh, the curtain has, has kind of like peeled, oh, peeled back a little bit. And what you see is, uh, this sort of like, black beak just kind of poking and, you, oh, sh- and then, <laughs> as you can see this lovely art uh by kayla kayla klein on twitter she's amazing this is this is a uh, our wonderful uh npc which you're going to meet so you can see it right there but anyway so you see this oh. you see this black beak kind of kind of sticking through the through the ga- the um curtain and you see one milky white eye just sort of like blink into it and she's like I didn't know you got here so fast. Just wait, wait there. And she uh, she hustles back into the where you're hearing the the restaurant, and she tells you to wait. But you've never seen a creature like this. Before. Yeah, it's a it's like a walking bird person, right? Yes, it is a walking bird person. But so you've all been yeah. told to wait, which uh, you can assume. I mean, there's you can't see any other doors, so you're pretty much stuck. Mm. Is a uh, what if I look out from this? place where i am and look at everybody who's here what do the patrons seem to be wearing uh if you try and pe- you want to peek through the curtain yeah all right when when you peek through that curtain uh you kind of see what looks like a quaint tea shop there's a case with a bunch of pastries and and a bunch of like teacups and things like that and uh there's different people at the tables one is what looks like a centaur but a goat person and they have a bunch of vials and, and potions on them, and they're kind of, like, twitching really weird, and they're drinking a cup of tea and just shaking. So that's that strikes you as odd. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was about uh, to say, like, hot, but no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, and you also see a white-haired, blue-skinned woman who seems to be riding something, um, and there's an owl perched on her shoulder. And then you see two extremely burly men that are that are in like a very loving tender conversation like ha- like at their table so they're like st- sipping tea and you know they look like gladiators almost like they almost look like gladiators except for they have curled horns and one of them has a tail and they Interesting. they look from di- all different walks of life you you don't mm-hmm. you don't notice that any of them are rich or poor or anything they they look just they look so bizarre that you you wouldn't even know if they were rich if they were so uh, Will has this like super fancy party dress on and like a feather in her hair and stuff. And she just, you see her kind of like yank the feather out of her hair and like stick it in her collar and then change her dress to look very bizarre. All right. Whoa, do you just shape shift? No, it's just, a, you know, this whole thing, it's, it's nothing. Don't worry about <laughs> oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So I know we were told by the bird lady to wait here, but I don't want to. I would like a cup of tea and a scone, please. Well, that that sounds just delightful. So do you? Do you? You guys can walk through the curtain and and try and find uh, bird lady if you feel so inclined. Yeah, I, I would like to introduce myself to the burly couple and. <laughs> you can. Okay. You're looking for a third. Or... I want to have it. A... Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, as as you all just kind of like like sort of peter peter in <laughs> peter into this this area with all of the uh, all the tables, uh, she sees you and she's like yes 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 welcome welcome sit sit and she puts you at a table you, uh, with actually four chairs just enough for each of you and she's already set up tea she has a bunch of different tea and a bunch of different scones just waiting for you to to uh, 
to munch on. And she she gestures to sit down. She goes, get to know each other. You'll have mm. to. And then she continues mm. like cleaning. Question. And you notice she has like like costume jewelry on her hands and her everything about her is old. This creature is ancient. And so she's she leaves also a couple of little those like strawberry candies for you, which also indicates Amazing. that she's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> Were those originals just sit yeah. on a little bus track? Yes. Exactly. Oh my god. Exactly. And I mean and Saturn, if you do, you are welcome to introduce yourself to any of the patrons, but she she gives you I eyes know, like yeah. sit down, like this is, I'm trying to trying to run an establishment here. <laughs> Benjamin okay. immediately takes all the strawberry candies and puts them in her bag which looks like one of those old lady carpet bags and clearly this woman and i are going to be kindred spirits yeah uh, all right well I'll, I'll i'll introduce myself to the to the group uh i i, I look at all of you and you can't tell which who i'm looking at because my eyes are just like lenses but i'm trying to stare and go like hello i'm given the name reader uh i have to admit this is one of my first times out of the house so i don't know if this is what is considered a normal tea ceremony but I have read about them in my books. Uh, I believe the customary thing now is to drink tea, and I just take the tea, and I try to take a sip of it, but it just pours through my jaws down, down my mouth for it. <laughs> she, you notice, uh, you notice the bird lady walk up and hand you a towel. <laughs> oh, well, oh, oh, thank you. I, I also put it in my mouth and then realize I'm supposed to clean myself off. Yeah, like, yeah, it happens with the madrons too. Don't worry about it. And she goes back to tending the tables. Thank you. What about yourselves? I'm sitting with the group now, not the fancy boys. I mean, if you want to leave us, that's fine. I'll introduce myself to <laughs> my friend. I feel like that would be rude. If I we already lost away. Jimmy, too. I mean, look, if your character's more interested in them than us, then that's as, fair. Yeah. As alluring as those fine gentlemen <laughs> are. I feel like the strangers I just appeared in a dark room with probably have a bit more... Uh, things we should talk about because we have some stuff in common i mean you, you're uh -huh. welcome to wink it at at the two <laughs> on their date oh i do oh okay. yeah we're like we're looking across and they're just like what? ready to go and one uh, of them flexes oh <laughs> Tight. so it does, it's not to you. He's flexing at his date. Oh, not well, never mind. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like when you see somebody wave and you think it's waving at you, but they're waving at like, you. Like, oh. any, any day of my life, then. Okay. So uh, Nejma notices that Saturn has a triangle and she leans across the table and says, I see that you perform. I'm also a performer. I'm incredible. You've mm -hmm. probably seen and or heard of me. I worked at the Sunspire and Sun Circus. Um, I was responsible for all of the magic there, so it's pretty great. I can do this. Thanks. Thanks for <laughs> Thanks. Um, I've also, I, I for one, am one of the finest bards in Waterdeep. I get asked to play for rich people all the time. And <laughs> And I may not have a lot of money, but, you know, sometimes art, you starve for it. Anyway, who wants scones? I, <laughs> I feel like we should all, <laughs> all have a plate and, and talk. I'll talk over scones. Uh, you notice that behind you, Saturn, uh, the bird person has been listening to you, and she, like, kind of puts her beak next to you, and she's like, good! Good, good! <laughs> Everyone's gonna get to know each other, but you may call me crone. And she just walks away. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hello, and and you can tell that this creature is benevolent. There's just something about her. She's not she's not evil. This is even though she looks weird and has this you think blind but can clearly see. Like she's not evil. She just genuinely wants you to get to know each other. She also throws some more of those strawberry candies on the table. Does she smell? Nejma no, 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 this, this candies, whole... Just this gonna whole, throw that out there. <laughs> Nejma's just, just cleaning them up. It's cleaning up those <laughs> candies. No, no, the whole the whole place smells like a tea shop would, like sweet with like, like, like cream and these little, you know, these little scones that you get. And you notice a few donuts as well. Like, you notice she's also giving you a couple of donuts. So, there's those. Love a donut. Yeah. Love it. I love a donut, too. Mm -hmm. um, you also notice there's a menu on the table if you so chose to... Um, to get some more of that tea, which I'm just going to read you a couple of options. Uh, Please a do. few of the tea options, if you so if you so care. She hands you each a menu. One of the the today's specials are Deja Brew, uh, Earl Grey, Absurdity, Herb Your Enthusiasm, and Tagu Long. 
I'd like a herb your enthusiasm, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Crone's like, I love that one. That was a good joke. And she brings you some more. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Mm. Love I'll sipping, take sipping a sippy. tag oolong. All right. She, she, she like stumbles off like and just goes and gets some more tea. And whatever you guys ask for, she brings it to you. She's waiting. She's just, she obviously wants you to talk amongst yourselves, even though you've been pulled into this insane world and you don't know where you are. <laughs> Nejma looks at Crone as she's like milling about making tea, places a hand of her heart, and she's like, she reminds me of my grandmother. I am very connected to her spiritually right now. As you say that, a bottle on her on her on her like robes, and I just like in the bottle just like looks at you and just blinks. Yeah, that's Whoa. definitely grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a reincarnated soul. It's very common among Sung Elves. Is she facing away from me? Looking at uh, a <laughs> uh, crone, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Can I uh, can I steal something off yeah. the back of her robe? <laughs> of course you can. Like this eyeball thing, I'm assuming is pointing toward Nejma, so I can't grab that. No. But I assume she has some other cool trinkets like hanging off the back of her or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely make a swipe if you want to. Give me a give me a sleight of hand. Ooh, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's like a what's that? That's a sixteen. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's she... a 22. Nice, yeah. Well, she doesn't really care about who's grabbing, like, whatever is on her robe. So let me, let me... Oh, I that's... see that happen. <laughs> and I'm like... You have to roll, you, you have, have to roll, roll perception check. Yeah. Do I roll, yeah. I, I want to roll to see if I see okay. this, by the way. Everyone, okay. everyone roll to see if, if they see Will... Which one I roll? I definitely... Innocent first, grandmother. First critical failure of the show. Uh, I got a one, yeah. Nice! I had, I had the one before when to get out of the closet. Oh, that's right. Sorry, yeah. you're right. Second one. Just like which in real one, life. Uh, which one seven. Do I roll? Seven? Oh wait, no. Sorry. <laughs> There's no seven side. Which one do I which one do I roll down? Okay, so you're gonna roll a D twenty. Okay, cool. And you're going to okay. add your um I believe what are we doing again? I forgot. We're you're doing a contested uh perception check, so wisdom again. Okay. We're just you're just pretty much trying to get higher than what her sleight of hand was so that you can see. I got a 15 and then uh, that'd be pretty hard to hit a, a 20, 22 yeah, or higher yeah yeah so yeah no that was a good sleight of hand yeah i'm good with my hands what can i say yeah so so will when when you reach into this old crone's robes you feel you the first thing you grab is and this is actually from my my list of things that i have made specifically for you guys um you get a small plush dog that has two heads and it's like kind of ratty. It looks like it was like loved by like a child, and that's what you get. What? I wish I got that. That's so. <laughs> so you may show your party. <laughs> I uh, how are we seated around the table? Like I just said, I was next to Nejma. I assume maybe am I like am I across from Saturn? Let's say that you yeah you're across from Saturn next to Nejma, and then Reader is in between Saturn and Nejma. Okay. Yeah. I don't do anything with it right now. I just kind of tuck it away. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask if I could see if it squeaked. Well, you guys don't know that I have it. <laughs> you don't yet. know about oh, it. Yeah. Know about it. Right. Until she chooses to show you this this uh, this little dog with two heads. Um, Hiding dogs. Not, a, not okay. It's a plush, though. It's not a real dog. No, it's, it's, we a, know. It's, a, it's a stuffed yeah. animal, okay. yeah. I just wanted to make sure, because I that would change things significantly. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a stuffed animal. Um, it's, it was said, it's obviously, like, to... It, it, you assume it might be in case kids come into the tea shop for, to quiet them down. Oh, now, you, now you're, that's, you're super evil to take it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know who this is. It's my dog now. Uh, reader goes, uh, one called Nejma, what type of magic do you practice? I was always fascinated with the idea. Well, there's so many types of magic. I really like the flashy stuff. I'm fantastic with fire spells, personally. Um, you know, like your standard ice spells, some sleight of hand spells, you know, all kinds of magic. Do you do any magic? Do you have any, like, magic spells, scrolls that I could look at, just real quick? I enjoy reading plenty of scrolls. Uh, I'm happy to go through my archive that I've carried with me. Uh, but maybe at another time. I would like to enjoy the rest of this tea. Um, sure. <laughs> while you guys are chatting, you notice that the uh, the creature that looks like a centaur goat 
is has finished his tea and he's just kind of like shaking and looking around and and crone walks up and she's like no you already had three today you gotta get out woolly you gotta get out of here it's you, there's nothing in this tea other than tea i promise you and he's just like oh oh i'm so and he pulls out some coins and hands them to her and just like just trundles out of the room and she's like god oh, he's every every day and she looks back <laughs> to you guys and she's like have you met each other yet do you know everything do you know do you know your darkest secrets <laughs> Well, I'm happy to tell you my life story. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, <laughs> wait, go back to secrets. Will leans over. She's like, "Oh, please do tell." Uh, well, I have a very uh, deep memory of every single day of my life. So, uh, starting with the day that I was poured out of the fa my father's forge, uh, there was about ten days. I just continue to go on for about like however long you want to stop me, and based on like nothing that seems relevant, but it's like all the steps of learning how to operate like pens. <laughs> Will like listens super intently and she like gasps whenever like, and then the, the metal cooled and she's like, oh, it did? Wow. I'm glad to finally talk to someone who enjoys the process so much as me. Mm -hmm. And Saturn's just like, Dan, you look weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's You're go back weird to the looking. part where we're sharing secrets. I want to know more about secrets like if maybe somebody set an entire circus tent on fire. Not me, but like other people might have done that. <laughs> if you've done that, you can tell me and I won't tell anybody. What sort of circus are we talking about? Well, I mean, there's like, have you ever been to a circus? There's so much stuff going on. There's like acrobats and they have tightrope walkers and crazy animals and there's a lot of fire. You, Nejma, you feel the, the beak like really, like close to your personal space i hear and right now like, i feel like my grandmother is watching over me right now she's like i am and don't set this place on fire <laughs> <laughs> but you can see that uh, some of the patrons are starting to peter out as um it's not like getting it's something weird is happening it's not it's not getting dark it's kind of getting dark but not really you can just kind of see that the light is just like dimming it's really have bizarre. my boys left the boys are still there. The boys are they're the last ones, in fact. The boys are still there. Right. And uh, because I think you, you feel like Crone is just so happy to see, like, happy couples in her shop. She keeps, like, refilling their tea, even if they don't ask. She's like, mm -hmm. just, like, keeps filling it up. But they Well, look... kind of leans, leans forward to everyone. She's like, I mean, I like hearing secrets as much as the next person, but is anybody else wondering why we're here? Yes. I, oh, where yeah. are we actually in the first place is the question <laughs> and as as you say that crow just like whips around like bah! oh that's right okay that out 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 and she she hustles the, the burly boys out <laughs> <laughs> look what you, oh, you didn't have to you didn't oh <laughs> they have to get back to the gymnasium anyway that's all they do all day <laughs> it's fine uh, come with me and she she kind of like moves her big bird head and just like gestures for you to follow her I, yeah, I, I'm I'm taking instruction. Uh, Will takes up the rear after everybody. All right. Um, so where she she leads you back into the other area, and she points at the back. We're behind the curtain. She points at that closet where you came out, and she goes, "That was a portal. You are in the city of doors, known as Sigil. Now, clueless people like you are not going to know, but you are here to help a good cause. I promise." And she points to a staircase, and she goes, down here! And she kind of, like, leads you down the staircase. It okay. seems the best of options. Nejma I'm follows little, without any issue. Going down the stairs, but I, I, I'm following. You're just looking back at that door where those boys left, and you're, like, thinking about <laughs> it. I'm a little... I'm, I, I'm, my mind's on a couple different places right now. <laughs> Got a couple things going on. But as you guys are going to the stairs, she looks at you, Saturn, and she goes, Can you give me some of that, uh, you're a bard, right? Yes, I am. Uh, can you give me, oh, good, <laughs> great, bards are great. <laughs> She's clearly had some traumatic bard experiences. And she's okay. like, can you give me some of that, uh, that, uh, triangle, uh, some venture music? Oh, hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so as, uh, as, continue, please, keep, I want the ding. Okay. <laughs> 
All right. As you as you ding your way down the <laughs> stairs, you notice that the it almost feels like you're in some place entirely different because as the tea shop disappears and you kind of notice that the sounds of I guess you could hear city sounds behind you, and you it opens up into what you could only assume is a giant like bundle of golden spheres, like in rings. They it almost looks like a machine, like a strange like like magical machine like like um if you could picture uh agra i think it's agra from the dark crystal you know you can see all those yes. spheres like in that room with the stained glass and stuff like that just imagine that and there's three massive raven statues on each side of this and you can just see this thing it's just like it's weird it's moving it's like it's kind of like it's almost like wavy it's bizarre and she points at it and she goes this is the pentacosm wow <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude! God, no, that aren't so awful. I, it's just like wow, yeah, but I don't. I don't <laughs> she's insulted, and she says, Give, "No more triangle." Okay. <laughs> uh, Nashmo looks back at Saturn and says, "Even though I've never heard of you, that that was a bop. Just gonna throw that oh, out there." But thanks. I love what you've done with this room. This is fantastic. <laughs> uh, who's your decorator? It's just I love the energy and the vibe here. She looks at you and she's like, this has been here for countless generations. It's it's something of my people and we use it to help those in need when there's no one else to help them here in the city of doors. See, we are rare, rare ravens. I'm very old, I can't talk, just give me a break. We're rare ravens. <laughs> we live here and, and we take care of those in need at the city of doors. I am, my human form is much too frail, unfortunately, but I am in half, my half form. And when you see the Executioner's Ravens, which are gray and black, they'll have like black little wings and gray bodies. They're very cute. When you see them, <laughs> you'll know. That's where we Did are. Did you say the word Executioner's? Yeah, well, there's a lot of dead bodies here, so, you know, it's fine. Just, just oh, okay. you get used to it. So anyway, so the Pentacosm chooses people of good heart who, I, who will help me in a task of great importance. And it chose you. And she points to these four... Almost like tin, you know, tinotype photographs, like photograph, like metal, like pictures of your faces on four metal plates. And she, mm -hmm. and it's, there's like a printer. It's almost like this thing has a printer and can just like create faces. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's weird. Um, and so, and she says, this is you, it shows you, and it sent you here. And uh, yeah, I looked to inspe inspect it. It does look exactly like us. It looks exactly like you, yes. And in fact, Reader looks just as sad as he does right now. <laughs> Nejma gets really close to her uh, her portrait and doesn't seem completely satisfied. She's like, well, my eyebrows look really nice in this, so this is fine, I guess. And Crone's like, they do look nice. Oh, thanks, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Saturn is very thrilled that... The, the magic printer was kind enough to have my triangle in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. She was like, I, I almost threw that one away because I didn't want any more bards, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you guys want to look around, you can do a perception check or kind of like, she's just kind of telling you about this. She's sort of just like rambling, like at this page, then this this were raven made sure that this this person was sick. she's just being old like she's saying old people things like she's getting somewhere with it but she just hasn't quite made it there yet yeah i'd like to see like how this works if i could try to put anything together with like engineering degree yeah, type idea yeah you could do that especially considering that you have um you have mechanical know-how and have been around machines a yeah. lot of your life is that still perception that would still you know hmm that might be like a history I got history. I got history. Yeah, give me a hist give me a history check. Maybe you've heard of something like this or something. That's a fifteen. All right. So this this machine is definitely it's it's definitely a machine, and you can definitely tell that that it has elements of of metals that you've seen before. It's it's you seem to think that it's powered by some outside source though. That it's tied to maybe some other plane. That it, it, it's Interesting. its powers may have something that is that isn't in this room right now. Okay. Interesting. Is anyone else doing expecting, or do I, I have I have a line of questioning. I don't want to cut you guys off. 
I think, yeah, Will is just trying to get, like, a, a perception of the room overall, like, see if she notices, A, anything that she could take that seems valuable. <laughs> anything that's not nailed down <laughs> right. to the floor. Or B, anything that would tell her what it is that she's been summoned here for and who she's supposed to be. And she gets nine. <laughs> um, yeah, well, she definitely sees her face. So she, it's definitely her. And it, I'm sure that it's a nice picture, too. You know, it's very flattering. I'm sure that makes her happy. Oh, okay. That does make her happy, yeah. yes. And uh, Corona has indicated that you can take these pictures if you so choose, if you want them. All right, she takes it. And she also tries to take one of the others. <laughs> <laughs> it's out in she the tries open. To take, Everyone... She tries to take Saturn's as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who, the, one, the one that the guy who cares, cares clearly the most about it, you want yeah. to take his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you reach, you reach down and, and do you want to do you want to? She just like nonchalantly, you know how like you're collecting things? She's like, oh, okay. And she puts it in her robe and then she grabs for the next one. Yeah, I'm just collecting all of these. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, can I try and not get her to take it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, get, yeah. Which one? Um, I roll what now? You, gonna... you you just tell, like, you can say you tell me something, or you can just grab it, or whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm you like... You saw her do it. She's not trying to hide I'm it. Like, okay, I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I need this. This is oh, going to wait my on my mistake. posters for my performances. <laughs> Clearly, I can advertise I'm a triangle player. And you Don't do it so it. well. You're my my mistake. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Um, all right. As this happens, she finally, the crone finally just like finishes her rambling, and she says, and she looks at you, and she's like, "We are in grave danger, and we need your help. The reason that we get clueless, I'm sorry to be insulting, like you, is that there are too many dangerous people in this city." to trust. So we need new people like you to help us. But first, don't worry about that. I need you to take care of a problem for me first to, to see, to, to test your metal, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I'll pay you. S I'll pay you well. Ah, that's what I was going to ask next. And she just uh, like winks at you like, I know you like money. <laughs> I think we understand each other really well. I just uh, think of all the bread I can buy. <laughs> Uh, Miss, Mrs. Crona, as much as I appreciate your gracious offer, I am more interested in acquiring knowledge and information. Would you be able to pay in a way such as that? Absolutely. I can take his money. That's fine. I'd I'll be heard. happy to spend my money. <laughs> whatever, whatever you request, I will do my best to obtain for you. Then I am on board. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um... So she kind Rear of like, a compliment. she gestures to a to sta a, a spiral staircase down below, or sort of near the the machine in the back, and she goes, "I have a bit of a a rat problem where my <laughs> steam methods steam my water for my tea. I need you to go down there and take care of it for me." You brought us here to be exterminators. No, I'm just seeing how good of adventurers you are. I don't I mean, like killing animals. I no, am I mean, a skilled exterminator, so you are in luck. Don't worry, say, I will take care of this rat problem. No problem. When you say rats, like, how big are the rats? Are they, like, cute rats? Like, a really cute children's movie rat? Or these, is it, like... These are not like are we... that, no. Oh, well, well of... um... I guess, if we're getting paid. I one promise my, it'll be worth um, your time. One of my proficiencies is animal handling. Could I use that right now for uh, this? When you run into the rats, you haven't gone downstairs yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll do it, sure. <laughs> All right. I love rats. Love a rat. So, Aren't okay. rats just the best until you exterminate them? No, I don't like killing rats, but I'll like... It's possible we can find another way to uh, remove these rats without killing them. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd oh, yeah, great. I care so much about humane treatment of rats. Well, she, yep. she takes a teacup from her robe and, like, a, also a teacup? Well, you don't know where that came from. And, like, pours herself some, like, really gross black-looking tea and just kind of pours it into her beak. And she's like, I'll be waiting here. There's the stairs. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, perhaps a candle or two, if you wouldn't mind, Miss Crown. 
Oh, yeah. And she like reaches into her into her robe and pulls out one candle that's like already burnt a little bit. It's definitely sure. made of some animal fat, like for sure. <laughs> Nejma turns to Reader and goes like, it's so cute that you can't see in the dark. I forget that everybody can't do that. It's so cute. No, but I can do this. I just take the wet, the wax candle and put it on my head as a, as a top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, upon hearing that, Wilhelmine grabs uh, Nejma's arm and is like, oh, you'll have to guide me. I can't see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> And I just follow. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll start I'm walking like, down right, the steps for sure. I'll follow. I'll, 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 but I'm a little afraid because it's still pretty dark, and right. I'm afraid something's gonna get me. All right, as you 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 can go down the stairs. It's a spiral staircase. Um, you've noticed that most of the staircases here are all spiral staircases for some reason, mm -hmm. and um, it takes a little while. And once you get to the bottom, you notice you're in kind of like a cavern, almost like a hewn stone cavern, but it's like. It's almost like if it it was built stone and then it was like made to look like a cavern. It's weird. It's, it's something's weird about it. Um, and as you get down there, there's different. There's pools of water and steam, and it's really really hot and gross and sweaty down here. But from what you can see, you don't really see any rats at all. You do see a door on the far end, but other than the steam, the piles of water, and the door on the far end, you don't see anything. Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh, could you do a perception to see if we see anything hiding in the shadows? Yes, yes, you can. Okay. Not good. That is a <laughs> seven. It's steamy. It's steamy. It's steamy in here. It's definitely, you can see steam pipes, which you definitely saw up in the tea shop as well, that look like this is somehow where the tea water comes from. It's, it's a really complicated system for just some tea water. This is some Miyazaki stuff, I yeah. assume. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty complicated, and you assume, I mean, like, if she's serving that much tea, like, damn. I know how that is. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't see, I'm just wiping condensation off my lenses continually. <laughs> yeah, just like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> uh, I look at Saturn, and I'm like, you said you know a lot about animals. Where do you think these rats might be? I think that <laughs> they're in the shadows, because we can't see them. So... Am I able to see in the shadows, or just in the dark in general? You can see in the whole room, because you do have dark vision. And it's actually not that dark in the room anymore. It's it's lit by like, magical globes. Like you, It's actually lit. But it's still very steamy. But you, from what you can tell, the only place that something could be hiding is is in these weird, like, like steamy corners. Mm. Uh, does anyone know what a rat call is? Or the sounds rats make? <laughs> yes. They kind of, they squeak a little bit. Like, they squeak, squeak, yeah. Perhaps if we make rat sounds, they'll come out and we can take them safely out of here. All right. Squeak. Yeah, that, so that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Just walk in squeak, That's real squeak, good. Squeak. Yeah. With no yeah. acting level whatsoever. Squeak. squeak. Also, squeak. your candle has gone out, reader, because it's too wet in here. Okay, that's fine. It's still in your head, though. So I just have wax drip <laughs> down all my stuff. Okay. Uh, so, so as you go squeak, squeak, uh, you don't hear or see any rats, but you do hear a splash coming from one of the pools of water. And you see these two, st what look like steamy, like, imps come out. And uh, you, you remember that Crone mentioned that there were methods down here, and they're, they're kind of arguing amongst each other. And they... they they're just looking around like like I told like the fire marshal is coming. If they find <laughs> that this place is a mess, it is going to be so bad. And the other one looks to the other the other meth and he's like, I don't think it's gonna be bad. It'll be fine. We'd keep this place really spotless. It's gonna be and then they both look at all of you and they're like, It's the fire marshal <laughs> I, I just wave like, Hey, what's up? How are you guys? <laughs> Nejma no. immediately gets nervous at the thought of a fire marshal being here. <laughs> An incident that was still not her fault. Nobody saw her do that, but you never know. <laughs> uh, well, as soon as I, I step forward and I'm like, indeed, we are the fire marshal. And we've come to inspect this place. It looks quite subpar. As soon as you do that, one of them gets in front of you and goes, Well, we're going to have to kill him like last time. I need you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> Okay. Perhaps that was a bad idea. I got a 15. 
Okay, let me get all my stuff to write all this down. <laughs> which one is that? Is D20 again? That's yeah. D20, yes. Okay, and which one do I add to that? Uh, that is your uh, dexterity. Yeah, okay. 15 plus 1, so 16. Okay. I got eight, uh, <laughs> so that's five plus three. All right. And I got a nineteen. Okay, reader, reader did good. I got an eleven. Okay. All right, our little methods. Do, do, do. Okay, so the first one to act is actually going to be reader. Okay. So uh, you just also saw saw Will tell a a bold faced lie. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I I like to, I I'm walking towards the closest steam effort, no guard whatsoever, and and just saying perhaps there's been a communication error. Uh, we're here to help find rats, and before I was assuming before I, that's as much as I can get out of my mouth before the well, fight you happens. Can, you can if you want your action to be to persuade them that you're not the fire marshal, you are welcome to give me a persuasion check. Well, I yeah, I was actually gonna do is like I'm gonna reach down and like try to what looks like I'm gonna just try to like calm them, but I'm putting just an arm right towards them to grab one of them. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you're still threatening. I guess so. Not meaning to, but th yeah, threatening. Okay. Um, so do you want to try and grapple him? Yeah, I'll try to grapple. Okay. Which I know it's probably a terrible idea. No, give me a strength. Give me a strength contest, and I'll see if, if okay. you get him. All right. That's, I just roll. Actually, for strength, is that just based off my strength modifier? Or D20 yeah, plus? Just, yeah, D20 plus your strength modifier. Whew. Uh, that was a two plus one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> He actually I... has a minus three to strength, which like you could have got him, but not with that roll. <laughs> so you try nice. to you try to grab him with your hand, and he just kind of like it's he's not there. He's just missed. He's steam, and sure. you can also notice that he's they're dropping like scalding hot water around you. Okay, but I'm fine with my metal body, right? You are fine. Yes, you are fine. Okay, great. Um, so yeah. So next up is Nejma. What do you do to these steam methods who think you're the fire marshal? Nezma yells, I can't go back to prison and would like to cast <laughs> Burning Hands. <laughs> can't go back to prison. Oh my god. Get burning hands, f five across the eyes. All right, let's do it. Yes. I'm about to deliver these hands. What do I need to roll for that? Okay, so you, Burning Hands is a spell. I yes. believe, I don't know if you have to, to roll to hit or not for Burning Hands. I even have to check. Um, I never use that one. Do -do -do. I gotta look this stuff up too, you guys, because if I don't use the spell, then I don't remember what it does. <laughs> We're learning. We're learning. All right. Um, doot, doot, doot. Okay, so you. Okay, so it's a cone, so you do not need to worry about that. The creatures must make a dexterity saving throw, though, so they both get hit, I believe. It ignites any flammable objects in the area. Cool. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and you're going to do 3d6 uh, fire damage on a failed save. So you're going to do 3d6 fire damage to both of these these little okay, guys. so just roll the d6 three times? Yep, that's okay. it. So first is a 2, a 2, and another 2. Okay, so that's 6 damage to each of them. So yeah, so you blast them pretty good, and they're just like, Oh, the fire marshal has fire this time! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you did you did a little bit of damage on them, so good, good job. Um, next up, and they're very upset by this, by the way. They don't like they don't like uh, the fire marshal using fire. It's also very confusing because <laughs> <laughs> last time they were trying to stop fire, it's fine. Also, a barrel next to them it bursts into flames, <laughs> and uh, that's the second fire you've set today. <laughs> we'll get start keeping tally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is the Mephits. One of the Mephits. Um, so I am assuming that, Reader, you are the closest to the Mephits? Yes. Okay, so they are going to... One of them, the one with the southern accent, is going to come after you. <laughs> okay. And uh, he's going to try to hit you with his claws. So Please, we can talk about this. He misses. He rolls, a, he rolls an eight. He misses. Um, and let's do it again. What's your um, AC? Uh, 13. Okay, he misses twice, so he tries to get you twice, and he's just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, just, it's just glancing off me as yeah, I'm trying to talk to him. Yeah, he's just like, this okay. one's made of metal. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he totally misses you. Um, so next up is Wilhelmine. Is I 
I'm going to use my dagger. I'm just going to kind of like swirl around and try to just like cut him. Okay. One of the methods. And that's going to be a 14. All right. Yeah, that is a hit. Awesome. And that does... Do, do, do. Uh, five damage. Okay. And then she's going to use her cunning action to keep moving with the turn, just and then go hide in the shadows. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so you stab one of them, and, and it just kind of... It hits something, so you obviously do some damage. <laughs> it's still pretty <laughs> steamy. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you've, you've wounded one of them pretty well, and so you're going to disengage? Yeah. Okay. It looked really cool. Like, it's a, yeah, it's, she... She's like, and then all of a sudden she melts into the shadows. Yeah, the, the methods are impressed. They're like, oh, a fire marshal must be getting some, some budget at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, so next up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, is our other method. The complainy method will go now. These are their technical names. Um, <laughs> complainy method. Okay. Each creature with a D. Uh, okay. All right, I need you guys all to give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh -oh. Including you, Wilhelmine, because even though you're hiding, you're still in the radius of this effect. Okay, got... d20 plus bonus. Yes. Uh, 17. All right, so reader, you they miss you. I got a 10 plus 1, so 11. Okay, they also miss you. 19. All right, they miss you. Oh, wait, I they're... got 4 plus 3, oh. 7. <laughs> all right, so the only one who takes all of the damage... Um, is Saturn. Sorry, Saturn. Hi. So how many points do I deduct okay. from... So... Seven only. So you... So Saturn, you're going to take 11 points of damage. And oh my God. the rest of you are going to take 5 points of damage. Jeez. Now where do I see how many points I have overall? Uh, so it I should be just... under your uh, hit points. Oh, 27. Yeah. So it was okay. a big hit. Jeez. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I just like, could you not do that? <laughs> and it's fi it's fire damage as well, so great. Oh, I love burning. Love it. <laughs> so, so, so you're huge fan of being on fire. It's actually it's more like scalding water that was thrown on you. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a lot. Unpleasant. Yeah. And you said it was five damage, Holly. Yeah, five. If uh, you you all succeeded besides Saturn. Okay. Um, Nejma immediately gets tilted and screams, I'm a bad bitch, you can't kill me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish, like, if you had, like, thalmaturgy or something, that could be, like, some sort of intimidation effect. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, well, last up is Saturn. You get to do your damage to this. So one method looks bloodied. One method looks like his, like, little steam... His, like, steam drool is coming out of his mouth, so he looks pretty messed up. I mean, the other one still looks pretty strong, but the one that did the, all the damage to you is the one that looks messed up. I wanna- I wanna fuck him up. I wanna, <laughs> I'm gonna get revenge right now. Um, so I have- I have a dagger and a rapier as well. Uh, it just um, depends on what you want to use. You can use either. Yeah. I think- I would like to use the rapier, so I roll a d8 for that, correct? Yes, and uh, it okay. should be under your weapon damage. It should be a D8 plus whatever modifiers, which I believe... Plus three piercing. Yes. And I think, is it dex or strength that you add as a bard? It should um, say on there. Uh, I am not sure. Oh, it should just... Could... It should give you the pluses on there. Like It, should it say... says plus five. Okay, then that's what it is. Okay, so D8. D8 yeah, so you D8. roll a D20 first to see if you hit. Okay, okay. 16 plus... All right, what, that's a hit. hit. You're fine, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so you do hit. Yay! Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then a D8. Now I get to count how yes. many sides. Okay, D8. Got it. That's the little right. diamond you won. Yes, so I'm going to roll that. Mm -hmm. I got an 8. All right, that's plus your extra damage. Plus, plus, plus 5 and then plus 3 as well? Yep. Okay, so that's 16. 
Yeah, no, you just like you just like murder him. You just you let <laughs> that rapier just like stabs him right through the heart as as Nejma yells, "I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me." <laughs> and it just Immediately murders down. this this Steve Buffett. <laughs> and he just and actually as you finish as you finish hitting him, you notice that um, let's see who is within five feet of the methods. I think I believe looking at my man. I I probably am. Yeah, I think, just take a look. <laughs> I think you all are in within. Oh, nice. So the method, as you <laughs> kill it, explodes and does <laughs> scalding water. It just throws scalding water all over you. And I'm gonna need you all to make another dexterity saving throw. Okay. Will is very dexterous. She's like doing that cartoon thing. She's trying to just like warp around where the thing yeah. sprays. Two. Oh no! Oh, nice. Uh, Twenty. All right. Thirteen. Okay. Um, let's see. So I think everyone succeeded. I believe hey, so. Um, I got to roll. Hold on. Yeah, D twenty. Okay, so that's uh, I I think that's a six. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's six plus dexterity, so that's nine. Okay. Um, so, Saturn, you will again take all the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so if it, it was, it was the one with, the uh, the, the line underneath the circle part, that's a six, right? Yes. Okay, great. So yeah. I took the damage, tight. Uh, yeah. how much do I get? Um, so, <laughs> oh, this time it only does, uh, five, okay, five, so uh, that burning, scalding damage. And the rest of you take two. Okay. I believe. I can't remember if it's round down or round up, but I'm gonna round down because I like to, because it's nicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, really Best nice, DM nice ever. DM. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so now you know that when they when they die, they explode, they explode into steam, and uh, the other method is still he's looking a little bit more like scared, but he's he really doesn't like the fire marshal. Apparently, there's been some incident in here in the past, so <laughs> he just kind of gets this renewed like, nah! and he's like ready to get you. So uh, let's see whose turn. We left off at Saturn, so we're going to go back to the top. And Reader, it is your turn again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and grab the other one, saying, please believe me, I am your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to try and grab him again? Yeah, and that's uh, 18 plus 1 for strength, right? Is that how yes. I'm handling it? Yeah. Uh, it's 19. Yeah, you get him. You grapple him. Nice. So sort of hold him <laughs> so in a little, like, ball. Yeah. So you're holding this this steam method. Who, if you weren't a warforge, if you weren't a, a robot man, he would be damaging you horrifically. But since you don't have flesh, he's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I hold it up like I hold it up in front of the others, just going, "See, peace can work." <laughs> okay, he's still trying. He's like trying to bite you. <laughs> like he's like, nah, 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 like trying. And am I just unfazed by it? <laughs> yeah, he's still. He's like trying to viciously ball you. Uh, cool. It is now Nejma's turn. He's holding right. this. That now you can't like unless you want to burn Reader. Like uh, <laughs> I might have regret this decision. Yeah. Um, Nejma decides not to attack because Reader is holding him. So, um, let's see. Can I cast Charm Person to try and calm them down? Uh, so they're not a person. They're a oh, uh, not a humanoid. No, they're not a humanoid. Okay. So if they're a humanoid, yes, you absolutely could. But because they're a method, right. they don't count. All right. Uh, let's see. Can I cast sleep? Um, you can cast sleep, yeah. Okay. I would like to cast sleep. And that sleep is going to be a, um, I believe it's a, it's another, it's like a contest uh, check again. So hold on. Do, do, do. I'm just looking at my spells. Do, do, do. Thank God for roll 20, because that's what I always, when I Google these spells, yeah. everyone in chat is just like, oh, they're right there. And I'm like, perfect. Is there any chance this hits me as well? Or do you get to pick? No, you get to pick, yeah. Okay. Um, so you need to roll... Uh... Okay. All right, 5d8. You need to roll, give me 5d8. And that's how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Okay. Which I think should be fine. This guy doesn't have that many hit points, so I think you're okay. All right, I have six, and then I roll it four more times. Yeah, I'll tell you right. when you can stop, because I think he's... Six, four. Okay. Six, one, 
Two? Okay. That is enough to put this guy to sleep. So you... Uh, nice. Yeah, so you put, him to, you put him to sleep. He's asleep. He's done. He's sleeping. He's a little sleepy boy. <laughs> It's a little sleepy method boy. Um, now you're holding this unconscious method, which is still burning like steam notes into the ground. I, I open my hands like a little metal cradle and go, it, it is it is but a child. <laughs> it's but a child. <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, so That's he's fine. he's asleep. <laughs> you, he's you're just holding him, I guess, like if wherever you want to go. But you notice that the room is still steamy, so it's just you can search around because there's plenty of things going on in this room. There's like chests and weird things hanging around and in the corner you can see a door. So if you want to go towards that, there's all kinds of things you can do. So, and it, you can keep this sleepy method with you as long as you want. Yeah. I'm happy to keep rocking it back to sleep. It is one of my specialties, I must say. Is it, is it in your arms now? And yeah, also... I, I, like little hands, like a, yeah. a little cradle. Yeah. Also, just so you guys know, now now that everything has been neutralized, you're out of initiative, which means you can now act not in like a certain way. You can just continue to act however you want. Okay. Um, hey guys, uh, <laughs> I'm bleeding a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can help out here because it hurts. Uh, I could cauterize the wound, and I hold up like a burning hand that's hot from this. Oh, God. Be like, uh, Nishma looks at Reader and goes, "Oh, I can do that too. It's the red." <laughs> and then also holds up flaming hand. <laughs> Will kind of just like shakes her head, and she goes over and tries to just like stabilize him, but she doesn't seem to heal him. She just kind of like tears a piece of cloth off and puts a little bandage around and kind of like pats him reassuringly. Great. Is this when Great. we realize our team doesn't have uh, a healer at all and we're just yeah. boned? <laughs> like we're just real. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hey Holly, am I able to cast mage armor on Saturn? Um, I, I believe does that it's work? a self spell. Self spell. Yeah, I believe oh, it it's says only you touch a willing creature. Oh, who is oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can. I guess I just never cared to help anyone with that spell. But yes, you can. I have um, I have a plus two for. I have I'm under my skills. I have medicine. Is should can I do anything with that? No, just, that's here. that's more like if someone is like super sick, you can identify what's wrong with them. Okay. And right. and it is for stabilizing, but you're okay. You're just like bleeding. You're just burnt. okay. Great. You're just a little. Yeah. You're just a little crispy right now. Yeah. Yeah. It says the target's base AC becomes 13 plus its dexterity modifier. Yes, yeah. So you can, but what is your AC right now, Saturn? Um, where do I find that? Should we dexter initiative on your sheet? Yeah, you should have. Oh, that's an like AC. a little shield shape. Uh, plus four is my initiative. So my and then next that to the left armor class of yeah. uh, 14. Okay. So your your AC is fourteen, which is as high as Mage Armor uh, makes it, I believe. So you don't need to cast it on him; he's already okay. got a high AC. So you should you save that. Time. Yeah, you should save that for yourself. Okay. Uh, Will like leans up, kind of the direction the crone left or whatever, and's like, "Thanks for the warning about the method. Real nice. Thanks." I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she, like, she like pats you reassuringly. She's like, I know. right on the burn, like that that nice that's, skin. That's right where I, I'm sizzling right there. You know, it's happening yeah. real, real hard. While this is happening, uh, re reader, can I get a perception check from you? Yes. Is it just the the steam effort like melting through my my body? No. Uh, that is a eight. Okay. Not great. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys, uh, you're just arguing amongst each other. You don't hear anything from up the stairs, but you do, you do see that there is a there is a light coming from from where that door is. But there's also things around the room that maybe I don't know. Maybe there could be rats in them. You can just check them, I guess. Yeah, I believe we are here to find rats, not small steam creatures. I'm going to hang tight because I'm in a lot of pain, so I'll let you guys do everything first, and I'll help out <laughs> if you need it. Saturn, Will can you give me like... a perception check now? 
Okay. So that's a D20. Plus anything? Plus wizard? It is plus your wisdom, yes. Okay. So do, so when I'm adding that, I add the one in the bigger box, or do I add the one that, next to perception? You add the, the little tiny plus. That's oh, okay, like... so that's plus two then. Yes, for yeah. Me. Okay, I've been adding plus one. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Um, I'm t I wish I could see it because it's easier to explain. I'm just like the tiny box. There's like thirty. Yeah. There's like thirty <laughs> tiny so boxes. That's, I'm sorry. That's Fifteen plus two is so seventeen. Cool. Um, yeah. So as as everyone's like arguing, you hear your name being called out, and it sounds like a bunch of voices saying it, like <laughs> like all these little like scratchy voices. But just for a second, you guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else here? Them, a bunch of people saying my name. Man, I think he's dying. Are you well, having you a might stroke? Need medical aid. She's going into shock. She cuddles him to her, her shoulder and like. I'm convinced. I heard a lot there. of people <laughs> saying my name. Thank you. Poor <laughs> child. Poor Would child. you like to drink from the steam if it's sweat? If you'd like, yeah, hold it over your. I'm good. Does that have medicinal properties or? I'm I'm really not sure, but it's worth a shot. That seems suspect to me. And I take I take that into granted. You're, that's actually very fair. I just, <laughs> yeah, uh, I take that away. She kind of just rolls her eyes. She's like, "I'll look for the rats," and she goes looking in the corners for the rats. Do I need perception? Oh uh, my! Yeah, roll roll me your perception check. I did. <laughs> it was good, right? It's a six. <laughs> Well, you can see that, I mean, while it is steamy in here, like, as you're, like, reaching into the corner is, like, helter-skelterly, like, just sticking your arms in there, you're not feeling any rats. You're not seeing anything. But as you get closer, as you're searching these corners and different things, as you get closer to that door, you hear your name in the same, the same voices, like, thousands of voices in your head, and it just says, Wilhelmine. Don't try to trick me into thinking I'm experiencing the same name thing as you. That's not funny. It wasn't it me. It wasn't me. You heard it. You heard it. Good. Good. Now you know what I'm going through right now. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's not okay. It's, uh, it is unsettling. How are you so calm about this? There, you just hear voices in your head and you're just like, it's unsettling. <laughs> 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 well, we have been transported to a completely different place with no explanation by someone we don't know to be given a task which we didn't want and then attacked by creatures that we didn't expect. So, you know. I believe on the moral barometer, we did strike first in a way against these steam creatures. Nejma, you feel a rat on your shoulder. Um, You found one. I did find one. <laughs> Not really feeling it, especially since I'm probably pretty, like, still pretty tilted. Uh, I go to brush it away. Yeah, there's nothing there. <gasps> okay. Well. <laughs> can I cast... <laughs> you just nuke the whole basement. Gust of wind. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> just blow them all into a corner. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, the spell allows me to like change direction, so I want to cast gust of wind and move the stream throughout the room to see if I can get it. Leaf out. blow it. Yeah, <laughs> you can do that. Oh, yeah. leaf, leaf blow that steam. I'm not trying to get possessed by any ghost today. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as you as you leap below the steam, you can almost it almost it's weird. It almost looks like there's there's like the steam is alive as you push it away. And it just kind of moves around, but it sort of disperses as the wind hits it. And you can see some of it gets sucked in underneath that that door in the back of the room. Mm. Let's see. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> Uh... There seems to be a vacuum of some sort back there. I'm happy to investigate. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah, you go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> you should absolutely do that. You go first. That Definitely. sounds like a really good idea. I'm so glad yeah. you thought of that. You're so yeah. happy to assist. I said then a little steam effort on a pile of rags. <laughs> he's tuck, still asleep. And tuck, and, and, and tuck him in. Uh, and for, yeah, make sure he's really wrapped up nice and tight. And I just walk straight towards the back door. Do I? Do I hear anything as I as I approach it? Uh, 
No, as you approach it, you don't hear anything, but in but it looks like burned onto the door is just the word rats. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not the brightest uh, of Warforge, but I believe rats might be behind this door. Our mission is at hand. And I, and I, and I open the door and walk in. All right. As you open the door, you feel this like rush of air and this like skittering noise and you can you can hear your name this time reader really loud being said in thousands of voices and it just says reader and you can see this is a dark dark hallway but you can't really see what's happening at the end of it except for there's one shard of light and there's small stones going towards this shard of light and there's black water where around these stones uh, I, to the voices, I just go, yes, uh, how can I help you? <laughs> you don't hear a response. Uh, it all seems clear in here. If you would like to follow me, I shout out to the rest of the, to the group. It <laughs> seems all clear. <laughs> yeah. I'm not phased by any of this. It sounds fine. Yeah, it just seems dark. Look at these little light. Benjamin's not sure, but I would like to cast my light cantrip. Yeah. In the room. Yeah, go for it. You can do that. Okay. Um, as you cast it into the room... The light just kind of gets sucked up. It's just a constant. It's a constant nope. color. Don't like that. Yep. Nope. I'm done. <laughs> Fascinating. And you hear all of you at once. Hear all of your names said at once in all of these voices. And the you can see the mist kind of come back and shake, like almost like it's, almost like it's again, like it's alive. And this had better be a real good amount of money that we're getting paid after yeah. this. <laughs> Benjamin turns to the group and says, hey, listen, so we found the rats. I know we're supposed to get rid of the rats, but what if, and just spitballing here, what if we just close the door again and be like, I didn't find any rats? <laughs> I what like that, that plan. I like what that plan that? a lot. But will Reader, that plan get us the money? Yes. Reader, are you just continuing have... down the path? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm trying to like I'm just putting my arms out and like without any caution towards my limbs in all directions and just all kind right. of trying to like scan. I'm do I'm doing what you'd have to do in Fear Factor. You just put your arm in darkness and okay. hope that like. Yeah, as you continue down this path, you're getting closer and closer to what you can see in the back is a shard of mirror, and it's just kind of sitting on like an iron pedestal, and it's just like clutched into what looks like a rat's paw. Like a dead rat paw? Like a separated rat paw? No, like an iron rat claw. Oh! Can Nejma see in the darkness, or...? Uh, Nejma, yes, you can see. You can see, your dark vision, though, gives you pretty much... It's our, It's light in here. It's it's just, a like, a blue light. It's just, like, a color. It's kind of like a weird, oh. ethereal sort of situation. So it's... it's You can see, it's just weird. Hmm... I'm scared, but I do like blue. Uh, I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> that is a color I like. Uh, is it? Is it possible for me to like look into? You said it's like a mirror shard, right? Yeah. Uh, is it possible like to peer down and inspect it without disturbing it in its yeah. its cradle? Yeah. Sure, I do that. All right. So, um, as reader looks into this mirror shard, you all feel this psychic connection, almost to what is this this shard, and you see this wave of rats with exposed brains going through the streets of a city you don't recognize and literally ripping people apart taking them apart limbs everything consuming everything it 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 touches and you can feel this need to consume you can feel this need to destroy and as it as it this sort of like vision pulls away from you you can hear its voice leaving and it says we are the us. We know you now, and we will find you. Oh, dear. Don't like that. That sounds a little aggressive for Yikes. me, honestly. And you look back uh, into the mirror, and there's nothing there. And there's the steam is gone. Do we see our own reflections in the mirror? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, um, the rats are gone. I think that uh, our job is done, and we go get our money. Uh, how, I like that. Yeah. How big is this hallway that we're in? Like, how 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 expensive does it seem? Uh, it's not very <clears throat> expansive. It's probably like I don't know, like like five six feet across, and the, about like okay. I'd say like I don't know, like twenty five feet long. It's not too long. It's strange for the crone woman to have such a 
interesting decorations down in her basement. Uh, should we? Do you think we should take the mirror with us and ask? Oh yeah, what that was. Will just grabs it. Yeah, it's okay. stuck. It's she tries really hard. It's it's real stuck. It's real, <laughs> you'll break it if you try to take it. It's like in the like, iron claw. She's like pulling on the. She has like her feet braced against it. She's I like, join oh! in to help out too. I want to <laughs> help pull. Yeah, it's so we iron, all. It's the stuck. first teamwork is to all pull on this thing that we can't pull on. <laughs> you can break it. It's definitely breakable. It's just stuck, like in this claw. I mean, I wouldn't hate having a sample of this, but I'm it already roll... seems broken, right? It's a can shard. A... It's like it's almost like what you would say is like a. Sh you can do if anyone wants to do an Arcana check on it, then. That's totally fine. I want to roll a dex check to see whether I can pull on it without breaking it or whether this effort breaks it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Smart. I, I roll very poorly. Uh, <laughs> I have... I rolled a six. Um, yeah, you, you, you will break it if you try to pull on it. <laughs> so I'm imagining I'm pulling on it and I'm like, Ugh! and then I brace my feet against it and pull harder and then it like breaks and I go sprawling backwards. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> so as it, and, and as it breaks, like you can just sort of like feel this rush of cold air. <sighs> hmm. I out. pocket the part of it that broke off. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't have broken that. Maybe? What do you but mean? It looks I just didn't... like a shard of mirror to me. I don't know what piece you're talking about. You also notice that the hallway piece. becomes lit normally, and the water below the, the stones in the hallway turns to normal water. It's not black anymore. That seems to have done it. Yeah, see? Job's done. Uh, <laughs> can, can I just do a quick arcana check to see if I recall ever reading about uh, yeah. mirrors that were linked to hive rats? Yeah, yeah, do it. Uh, that is a 15. Uh, yeah, so you you have a feeling that this is a shard of a scrying mirror. And it's attuned to something, and you don't know what that was, but it's definitely attuned to some sort of weird killer rat thing. <laughs> or that it might have been attuned at one point, yeah. And it's no longer attuned now, you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the very least we could do is tell the crone woman what we've done and and give her a mirror. That's fair. Right? Reader just turns everyone going, right? That's what? the right thing what? to do. Give her the, the yeah. mirror's right there. I, give her what mirror? I think all of the mirror. Maybe all of the piece that you took. But maybe what we should... Mirror? No. That you broke. I did not break Me? it. <laughs> Take a piece of the mirror? I'm just Reader's already starting to wonder just... if that's what happened now that he believes her so much. Wait, did she take the mirror? I don't remember. It just, it feels bad that I've just met you and you guys already think that of me. I'm still in a lot of pain and I'd like <laughs> it if we could hurry up this mirror chat and get, either bring it back yeah, I or take his we elbow. just like, get out of here. We should get I'm him hurt. upstairs. Come on. So do you yes, guys leave, sure. leave the little room? Let's go ahead and leave this crazy dark magic room. This yeah. is bad for my aura. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need like a whole bunch of crystals after this. That's fine. Uh, all right, so you guys make your way out. Um, this the method is still sleeping. He's he's good. all tuckered out. Um, I did a good job. Can I kick him while he's still sleeping? No. Why? Oh, I mean, yeah, you His can. Friend has injured me. <laughs> all of you guys are fine. Is it like it's fair that I have a little bit of? Animal? I I put okay. a calm Warforged hand on on Saturday as you're trying to kick up. Before you kick, I just want to say. If we are to hold others accountable for the deeds of their friends, then we're all guilty of breaking that mirror, Saturn. I, just I didn't put break one... the mirror. I'm, I'm kicking saying. him. I put <laughs> one hand him? on his... I put I'll one hand... Kick him. Okay. Did you kick him? Uh, yes. Yeah, he wakes up. Good. Why would you do this? <laughs> can, you roll me, can you roll me damage for an unarmed attack against the sleeping method? Which one do I do for that? Uh... Just, uh, just roll, I think it's a d20 to hit, so... Okay. You know what, whatever, just give me, like, a, a 1d8, <laughs> it doesn't matter, just give me a d, give me, like, a d8 for a rage kick, like, who cares, you hit him. He's to like, curb stomp this yeah, poor innocent sleeping method? Yeah, just give me, just give me a method. d8 to see if you do, how much damage you do to this sleeping method. And do I add anything to that? No, I'm just giving you a special, I'm just okay. giving you a special, this is Jimmy's, okay. <laughs> Jimmy's rage kick, it's a special ability. 
You can I do whatever great. you want as a DM. Yay! I rolled a Yay. one. <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh my oh god. No. Good. Okay, so you Good. fail. You curb stomp him for one damage. <laughs> Good. And he's awake, and uh, yeah, he uh, he's gonna do another another. Wait, steam. wait. What? I want to, as soon as I see him, like, look like he's going to attack, I pull out the little dog with two heads, and I put it in front of him, I'm like, <gasps> hey, hey, little guy, look, 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 you know, no, nothing here is going to hurt you, look at the doggy, look at the doggy, <laughs> and I want to persuade yes, him me, to, yeah, give me a persuasion, man, my rolls are horrible today, even, I have plus seven to persuasion, and even then I got a 13, Honestly, for this guy, like, he's in a fragile state right now, and so you're distracting him just fine. He's just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> woof, 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 yeah, he's, woof, he's woof, into woof, this, and he woof, just, woof, just kind of takes it and just starts chewing on it. Like, maybe the curb stomp just hit him in the head or something. <laughs> Can Nesha reach out and see if it squeaks? Uh, yeah. Just give a little, yeah, little squeeze a little on squeeze, the butt squeeze. there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. It does squeak. Yes. Does he like that? Does the method like it? Oh, he loves it. He's just like, ooh! And he's just like happily <laughs> like playing with it. It's now sopping wet. It's disgusting. That's real great. Um, Saturn sees the toy, decides he really wants it, and he's going to kick him again. Sa Sa him I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to move in to intercept Saturn and try mm -hmm. to bo like box him out and go, I like you lost a lot him. of blood. <laughs> Reader, like get your mans, okay? Kick get him this man. for that toy. Uh, move to intercept. Uh, I rolled to intercept. <laughs> are you gonna try try again? Yes, I would like okay, to try again. Okay, okay, yeah, good. You know what? Give me another D eight for Jimmy's curb stomp. Okay. Are we the bad guys? I got a. <laughs> I just tried to give him a dog toy. Okay. I got a. I got a six. Okay. Holly, can I cast sleep on Saturn before this? <laughs> you can, you can, but I, I don't recommend starting like party turmoil this early in the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, you curb stomp him ag again, and he just he passes out. He's passed out. Now. And can I take the toy now? You can take the toy now. Yeah. Yes, it's mine. <laughs> Reader will remember this. Oh, just pops up in like the Telltale <laughs> style. Yeah, will will too. <laughs> Oh this God. is my first win of the day, right here. <laughs> curb, no, you killed that method before. This one oh, thankfully yes, isn't That's dead. Right. He just passed That's out. Right. He's in a fragile yeah. state. At what cost, though? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's yeah. Gonna... pass by the method. Nejma does this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So as you as you walk upstairs, um, you notice that uh, the machine has stopped moving. The machine isn't moving anymore. Oh. Maybe the power source that moves it, such as steam, has been killed. Um, you can assume whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but something is definitely wrong, and you, you hear from upstairs. You kind of hear, like, a it's like this scream. Like, an unearthly kind of, like, scream. Like, no! <laughs> Does it sound like Crone? It sounds like Crone, yeah. And she sounds pissed. Fast walking straight there. All right, so you walk up the stairs past the pentacosm upstairs into the into the tea the tea room, and um, you can see that she's <coughs> she's like looking at her hands, and she just looks back at you like like wild like crazy look in her eyes, and she goes, "Did you break it?" Nejma immediately points to Philomen and is like, "I it wasn't me." Okay, I tried to stop her, but I did not touch whatever is happening here. And she, me. she grabs like under, what? She grabs under reader and she goes, "They saw you. They'll kill you now." There's nothing uh, you great. can do. <laughs> Miss, why was there a magical mirror in your basement? This seems unrelated to the manufacture and distribute of tea. I told you we're here to do good. That mirror is spying on our greatest enemy, and now it's broken, and you will have to stop them because you're the only one linked to it. Oh. It seems like maybe <laughs> it would have been a good strategy to tell us about the mirror instead of making us think we were just hunting rats and going up against methods. What yeah. if we just tape it back together? Listen. Your minds are fragile because you're clueless Burks and you're here to help us anyway. 
And now you're trapped. You're trapped. Yeah, but I'm you, not here you, to help. You should have told Nobody. us about. <laughs> you should have told us about this mirror and said, "Hey, don't touch the mirror that you will run into down in this place." Also, can I keep this dog? It's pretty great. I would like to keep this this toy here. She's ignoring can you. I... She looks at Wilhelm and okay. says, "Give it to me." Give what? You know what I'm talking about. And she holds her hand out. If I do, you've got to send us back where we came from, because none of us asked for this. You can't go back. You're trapped. And now you're going to be chased by the us. So you either help me or you trapped? die. Was it the breaking of the mirror that was trapped us, or were we already trapped? Oh, you were trapped before. Okay. I mean, I don't mind staying, considering if I go die. back. I, it's like a three alarm circus tent fire. So here's fine. Like here is totally cool with me. She's still holding her like clawed hand out. Like mm. Will kind of takes the the piece of the mirror out and she just stares in Crone's eyes as she hands it to her, like really menacingly. <laughs> hands it to her. Can I can I roll for intimidation? Uh, yeah, you can try. I got a fifteen. Um. Yeah, she is not. As she just looks you right back in the eyes with her dead, white, pale orbs. and just You can tell that Will is not uh, used to that. And so as she's looking at her intimidating and then she takes the, the piece of the mirror, Will's eyes kind of get a little bit scared and she kind of leans back. Yeah, she looks, you, she looks you straight in the eyes and she just kind of goes, They know you now. They will come after you. And I will be here to protect you, but you have to help us. If you help us, we might be able to help you survive. I would like to survive. <laughs> I would also like to not go back to the fire that I didn't start. It just was there when I got there. <laughs> I, I would be happy to help, but I must ask uh, Lady Crone, you said you've brought others here before to help you. What happened to them? And she kind of just looks down, and she's, uh, they went home! <laughs> Can I roll to see if I believe that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that a perception, or would that be... That would be an insight check. Insight. Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, that is a 22. Nice. Yeah, she's totally lying. <laughs> good. Okay. I don't acknowledge that I understand that, but I just, I pocket that. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's totally lying. And as you, as you do that, you can hear, like, a frantic knocking on the door, on the tea shop door. And it's it's a voice that sounds familiar. It's going, oh, oh yeah, uh, let's uh, bring me. Let's, uh, they need to come back in. And you remember it as that goat person. Yeah. And uh, Crone kind of looks at you. She's like, wait right here. And she goes to the door and opens it with like one of her clawed hands. And he stumbles in, and he's just bloody, like just covered in blood and just dripping blood everywhere. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nejma asks, is that blood? <laughs> uh, and that's where we'll stop. Oh. Oh. oh! Tune in next week to find out, is the goat person okay? <laughs> <laughs> Will the adventurers get their money? Probably. Yeah. Take that's on an down, operating table. In a try... <laughs> Just oh an God. ER scene of trying to save the goat person. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, yay. That's awesome. Sorry for the technical difficulties in the beginning, but thank you guys for enjoying my my DMing. I hope it was okay. It was great. It was really fun. Yay. Um, I'm hooked. Yay. You guys you guys don't have a healer. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're so boned. No, I but didn't... <laughs> you're really good at persuading people. It's it's important. Yeah, um, and I didn't know you were also rolling a rogue, and I'm super happy that we have two rogues yeah. on the team. Yeah, you can you, listen. It's D and D. You can live your bliss. Um, so let's go <laughs> through everyone and again reintroduce yourself and say where everyone can find you and where you can uh, where they can find your other streams and things like that. And uh, yeah, and then I will end with some announcements. So let's start. Okay. Let's start with Saturn. Hi. My name's actually Jimmy, and you can find me on uh, everything at just Jimmy Wetzel. My name should be under my face. Uh, I stream on Twitch a lot, and I play all sorts of stuff. Um, so follow me on Twitter and, and Twitch and everything. If you want that wee-woo emote, <laughs> you got to subscribe to me for that. It's a good one. 
Um, I also do YouTube stuff. I have like five years of stuff you can go back and watch, and I'll be back on that soon. It's been a while, but I'll be back again. And uh, yeah, just keep keep in touch with me, and thank you for your patience in all of my questions. I still have many skills. I don't know what they do. I just I made this character sheet with Holly, and she was just like, "You might like this." This is, oh, does this? I'll ask. This sounds good. She said, "Yeah." So. No, you did uh, great. Thanks Jimmy. for your patience. We're all me. learning. We're all learning together. Yeah. That's supposed to be fun. That's that's good. Yeah. Yay. Um. Oh. Oh, Jimmy, do that thing where you zoom into your face. I want to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I found out that my webcam can just do this. For... <laughs> <laughs> and I totally Jinx, forgot Jinx. about it. But just here we go. Oh man, I can't do it with two hands. I can just try. Hold on. Oh, well, act surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. Whatever, it's, it's good enough. We, it's practice. We'll, we'll get better. Um, but I'll do my best. Yeah. All right, we'll, go, we'll go go down. Anna, you're next. Okay, let's see. I'm Anna Prosser Robinson. I work for Twitch full time. And I don't want you that close to my face, actually. Um, <laughs> this is a really slow zoom back out. Uh, yeah, I. So you can find me at Anna Prosser. Uh, you can see my Twitter right under my face, and you can find me there at Instagram and Twitch and all of the other good places you like to frequent as well. My next show will be Friday at 1 p.m. on Twitch.tv/Twitch, which is Twitch Weekly, on which I'm going to be announcing um, some big news about a show that I've been working on for a really long time. So I hope. Oh you yeah. That's at 1 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. But if you like D&D &D and you like to watch D&D &D things, there's lots of that to do as well. On Tuesdays, you can find me playing with Holly on this channel, D&D, &D, from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific in Dice Camera Action, which is our game that's DM'd by Chris Perkins, um, who you may know of, of Dungeon Master fame. I tried to be and scary because that's what he taught me. I, know. <laughs> I learned it from you dad i learned it from you <laughs> yeah and i i know how that feels because i actually just started dming my own campaign because right after dice camera action on misclicks m-i-s-s-c-l-i-k-s i've been playing D, D there for like five years but this is the first time i'm dming my own campaign and we're doing the D, &D starter set lost mine of Fandelver. And I felt the same way, Holly. I was like, my inclination is always to be nice, but I had to learn to be spooky like Chris Perkins. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you'll come hang out with us on Tuesday as well. Awesome. Oh, Chad. Hi guys, uh, I'm Chad. Uh, you can watch stuff I've written. Uh, Unikitty's coming out all the time on Cartoon Network. It's a fun, adorable cartoon show about rainbows and magic. I don't know, find cartoons. There's other ways to watch it besides having a cable, because who has cable anymore? Uh, you can figure it out. Uh, I also stream uh, every once in a while on every Wednesdays and Sundays in the afternoons. Uh, everything's quantum theory. It's a pun after my last name, which is quant, but no one gets it, and they all think I misspelled it. But that's Q quantum theory. Thanks for thanks for having me. Yay. And Hadil? Hi, it's me, Hadil, as Holly Conrad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's my Squidward voice. <laughs> I love it. Um, I don't really stream on Twitch anymore, but I want to. My computer broke yesterday. Sorry about it. Uh, but I'm on Twitter shitposting all the time. Quality A+. Plus, this emoji and then a hundred emoji a bunch of times. And then boom, boom, that. Uh, but it's TwittySuch. T-W-I-T-T-Y-S-U-C-H. There's no in it. Just I'm sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> Somebody misspelled it. I'm sorry, it. I messed it's it up. I'll fix it next time. I'll just put a put Holly's a fuck up next to it. <laughs> <laughs> asshole is underscore. Holly's an asshole. <laughs> I apologize. Whatever. It's our first stream, you guys. We did it. That's what matters. We did it. was great. Yes. Um, Holly, thank you for an awesome game. Of course. And uh, Thanks, next week, we, we will either have a new episode next week or we will be re-airing this one because I'm not sure if um, I will have a streaming connection where I am because I have to go do a bunch of stuff like Emerald City Comic Con. I'm going up to Penny Arcade again. So I have a bunch of stuff I'm doing. So we might be streaming next week. If not, we will have a rerun of this one and we will continue on our normal schedule after that. So thank you again for your patience before this, you guys. Uh, I appreciate it so, so much. And I'm going to try and delight and entertain you as much as I can. And I will see you all on Tuesday for Dice Camera Action. And I will see you guys uh, either next Thursday or the Thursday after. So, Can't yeah. wait. Good job, Holly. Thank you, friends. Yeah,
Bye, break. everybody. Thank we'll see you, you later. Bye. I'm going to try and find the off button now. So, okay, here we go. Uh, bye.